So we have a class that is supposed to crop our image. So let's just give it a spin and see if it works. Now, before we crop our image like this, let's add a um, let's add a function here. Uh, it's good to have an extra function here that will do all the checking to see if a thumbnail exists because we don't want to be uh, cropping images all the time. We want to check if a thumbnail already exists and then use that instead, instead of having to crop it again. So let me just create another public function here. So we'll go for public function. And this one will be, um, let's call this one profile thumb, short for thumbnail. Okay, like this. Now in here, what do I want to give the profile thumb? Actually, I don't need to give it any value here. Uh, profile thumb, yeah, we just need the image, uh, image path like so. Okay. So what this function will do is it will call this function like this. So this one will say crop crop size, then you can adjust the size as you wish. So let's just put it at 600 pixels, that's okay. And then let's do a crop. Now here we have to use the this, like so. Uh -huh. This, crop. Now the source image is obviously this one right here. And the destination, we have to create that. And then the crop size should go here, like so. That way we can adjust the cropping size here. So if you decide in future that you want your thumbnails to be 800 by 800, just come and change this value. Or if you want, you can uh, tell it to have a different value here by putting a param, but uh, I don't think that's required. We can just change it here. Okay, so now we need to create a destination path. Now, what I will do for this, since this is just a thumbnail that we are creating, I want to get the destination path uh, here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is get the file extension, just like I did here. So I'll copy that and bring it over here. So we get the file extension from image path because I want to concatenate it to the end. Okay, so once I get that extension, I want to, um, to remove it from the image path and replace it with something else. So the destination is a thumbnail. So what I want to do is just get the same name of this file and just add thumbnail at the end to make it a thumbnail. This way we don't destroy the original picture, we just create a thumbnail version and then return that. So I'm just going to say um, the destination is going to image path with string replace. So I want to replace, what am I searching for? I'm searching for a dot uh, and then followed by the file extension like this. So this is the dot extension. I want to replace this with uh, underscore thumb like this. So this is a shortcut for thumbnail and then add this to the end of it. Copy and add the file extension. Let me put a dot to concatenate like so. So what I'm doing is I'm getting, okay, so that's the subject. Let me cut that and put it here. Good. Okay, so what I'm saying here is that the destination, which is the thumbnail, is supposed to be the same path of the file, but we add a thumb and then add the file extension at the end from the image path. And then what we will do is check if the file exists. So say if file exists, 
like so. Does this flyer exist? Not the source, but the thumbnail. So maybe let me just say thumbnail here, right? Just so we know what we're talking about. So if the file exists, which is the thumbnail, actually let's check for if it does not exist. So if it doesn't exist, then do the cropping so that it will now exist because the this image will be cropped and then saved into this with that crop size. But then if it doesn't, uh, what we need to return is just the thumbnail. So here at the end of it, whether the thing was um, cropped or not, we're just going to return the path of the thumbnail so we can use it. Great. So now all I need to do is just do profile thumb instead of doing that. So to get it going, let's go in the public folder here and uploads. So there's uh, one file here, which is this one, is it? No, this is the file. There are two files here. So this is the file to look out for. I want to see if you to create a thumbnail version in this path. So I'm going to go to uh, the profile. Where is the profile? Uh, actually, what I need to do is go to my uh, models. Where is models in the core functions? So let's go to get image. This one right here. This is the part where we get the placeholder, right? But then instead of us, instead of giving us just the image path, we're going to say get the thumbnail version of that image. Like so, like so. Cool. And then return the image. Great. Now this is inside uh, the image class. So we shouldn't forget that. So what we need to do is create a new one and say image be equal to new image like so and that way we can use actually i'm using uh too many of these so let me just say class is equal to so i'll copy this and paste and do that so now class profile thumb the return of this will be part of the image so let's see if we're going to get a square image here. If I refresh the page, moment of truth, fingers crossed, refresh. And you see, it worked like a charm. Wow, I was expecting at least one error or two. Oh, that's weird. I really was expecting an error, but uh, seems it works just fine. Okay, this is good. Now, if I go to is it staff members students yeah so you see now it shows up real quick uh, because the thumbnail file now exists there it is it's unfortunate that uh, instead of um, <laughs> I made a mistake here I forgot the the dot between the extension yeah so at least I forgot one thing so back here where is that? Uh, yeah, where we're creating the thumbnail, right there. So I need a dot here after thumb. Okay, so which means it will have to create a new file because it won't find that one. So if I now refresh, it will crop again. Yeah, there we go. So that's the new crop. So let me remove the unnecessary ones. This is thumb. Okay, that's okay. So as you can see now, it's a square image. The original is this one. Okay, it's a bit wider. I can't seem to... New file. No, how do I fit this? I have no idea. Okay, but this one is smaller, as you can see, and it's a square image. Okay, so cropping is working just fine. In the same vein, we'll need to make... Uh, a resize function just like this one resize is a little bit more complex than cropping 
so hopefully we manage that now since we are having all this let me go to another profile and edit it and let's see if we can browse for an image and give them a face so back here i completely have no faces here this is uh, incredible wow no human beings whatsoever anyway save let's see what we get there we go a right, group of people and there we go so looking much better profile mm -hmm. so we should have a button i guess if somebody wants to see the whole image if that's their thing maybe you can add a button here and display the actual full image okay so that's it with uh, cropping images um before we go, let me just uh, fix one thing here. Somebody gave me a suggestion on this one. I don't know why, I for, how I forgot this. Uh, instead of it being up here, we can just put it as part of the row down here. Let's see how that can work real quick before we end the lesson. So I'm going to go to views and that one is in the profile tab. So profile tab classes. Uh, actually in here we are loading the classes.ink so where is that that's classes.ink okay so since this message is inside the table we can simply uh, let me change this for the center tag and then I want to add a table row and then a table data like this and then close both here and then I want the table data to have a column span that's bigger than one. Let's put five just to be sure. This should work better than this. So refresh and there we go. No classes were found at this time. Yeah, this is a better design, definitely. Okay, so great. Now that we are here, we are all good. Let's deal with tests at this point. Uh, yeah, before I go, I guess one more thing here. The way things stand like this, uh, any lecturer can edit another lecturer's information, which is not good because the level that we've put this at is, um, where is this? Profile view. There we go. Okay, so if somebody is a receptionist, oh, I'm moving things around. If somebody is a receptionist or they own the content, uh, which means that's the person that created this account, then they can edit. But uh, maybe this is not so good. What I will do instead is do a uh, another if statement instead. I'll do this. Put another or there. And let's say the admin is allowed to do this. And then let's put the rest of this inside a uh, brackets. I want them to only be able to access this. Let me even remove the I own content. It's redundant. Like so. Okay. So either they're a receptionist or they're an admin. They can edit this. But... They should only be able to re, uh, edit this as a receptionist. I'm missing one of those there, I think. What's going on here? Something missing, something missing. Yeah, one more. Okay, there we go. Okay, so they're supposed to only be able to do this as a receptionist if the current user's rank is student. So I'm going to copy this rank thingy and check. So either they are admin or there's this and their rank be equal to student, like so. So a receptionist can only edit if it's a student and then the admin though can edit everything. Okay, good. So this means people cannot edit their own profile unless they are admins as well. So this is much, much better, I think. So let me refresh. Just to uh, confirm this, let's go to the receptionist and get her details and log in, paste, and then 
password. Students, let's see if she can edit a student. So edit student, she can. That is good. But let's see if it's a, uh, yeah, so exactly. Can't do that. How about her own profile? Can't do that. Okay, so that's great. That's what we need is good. Now you can edit these uh, access levels as you wish, you know. Well, whoever you want to give access, that's entirely up to you. So I can copy this, by the way, and then go up to the profile controller. And so I can do that as well. That way we don't allow a bypass. So profile, and where is this? There was a part where we were, yeah, there we go. So that we can give the access denied. Save. Good. Okay. But this may cause a problem if raw is not a thing. Hmm. Let me test that. Okay. Uh, what is it complaining about? It's saying unexpected. Okay, so it means there's a bracket missing. Let me remove that. Okay, cool. Let's refresh. Access denied. Oh no, this is actually not cool at all because it switches off the whole profile. So no, we were good the way we were, like that. All right, so let's move on. I'll see you in the next video.